Dale, what happened on the last possession? Uh, we drew up a play. Uh, when Coach called timeout, called Cowboy uh, for me to get the ball. Uh, we knew they were trying, probably trying to foul and just make a play. And you had Jordy out there and, uh, and Victor. And so we were trying to get the basket. The plan was just to get the basket and get it to the overtime, but I mean, big time play, big time play, and see what I did. So, just to. When did you decide you, you had to kick it out to him, basically? And, and how did you. See him. How did that play just come into? To uh, I saw when I got the ball, I knew he was gonna be sprinting out. He's taking the ball out, so he was sprinting behind. He's a trail man, and uh, I just drove it. He was like VV. I just turned around, passed it to him. The rest is history. As someone who played on the six and twenty-five team, what did it feel like to stand on the scorers table? Oh man, it was one of the best feelings. You know, I mean, it's just all our hard work, all of our you know sweat and tears is starting to pay off a little bit. Um, you know, this is this is the first step in the beginning. Did you feel like they were trying to foul you there in that last five seconds? I saw T reach for me, just missed, you know, he just missed, and uh, I mean, you know, made a play. Will, could you speak yeah. to the start of the second half and how hot you guys were, especially outside the three-point arc? <clears throat> yeah, you know, shots weren't really falling in the first half as, as much, and, uh, you know, we had a lot that were, you know, rattling and out and whatnot, and so coming to the second half, we knew that we just had to make plays, and, and it's only a matter of time before Jordy get, gets out on the three-point line, so... Um, you know, we definitely thrive off those kind of opportunities and, and made shots, and so we did. You got a couple that got some bounces, I guess. Were you just thinking at a certain point, if I just throw it at the rim, it'll find a way? <laughs> Not really, but uh, yeah, I guess some lucky bounces tonight. Jerry, for now, how, how, how close did T come to filing you? How much did you guys talk in the huddle that they had files to give and they might try to disrupt? Why didn't he file you? Uh, that was the first thing uh, Coach Buckley told me. Uh, he was like, they're going to try to file you. To just be strong with it, and uh, I mean, he tried to foul me. And I just, I mean, I got, he missed. I got out of the way. I don't know. And, uh, I mean, like I said, it's made a play for me. Cordell, you were the one that had the the shot attempt against uh, against Purdue two years ago. Um, didn't fall for you. How good did it feel to have the assist on the final shot like this and have the result changed around? Oh man, it felt great. I mean, you just, uh, you know, I, was, I really just proud of uh, Christian. You know, he really stepped up at the end. You know. He's got a lot, you know, he's gotten hard lately, and uh, he, he he played big tonight. Will Kentucky's one of the longest, most athletic teams in the country. How are you guys able to stay even on the boards and, and really uh, buckle down defensively? Well, we do get to stay to their bodies. You know, um, guys are athletic and long like that. Really, to kind of <clears throat> move them outside the lane, it, it's uh, you know trying to get a better re offensive rebounding for them. So, so really, we just try to put a body on them at all times, and uh, I thought we did. I thought we did a pretty good job. Verdell, having gone through everything that you've had since you've been here, does a win like this kind of justify what you went through, and, and does it feel like Indiana was is back to where you thought it would be when you when you first came? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I mean, we went through some, some, some trying years, and uh, you know, we stayed with it. You know, I'm, I'm particularly proud of our senior class. You know, uh, it would have been easy for us to, to, to transfer, or leave, or just quit, but we stuck with it. And, you know, I like the fruit of our labor is starting to pay off. You know. I mean, this is one. This is the first step. Like I said, I mean, we, we have big we have big hopes, and uh, we gonna keep working. Adele, Christian said last year when Jordy hit that three against Illinois, it was electric. Man. How does the noise tonight compare? I mean, my ears are still ringing. You know? <laughs> I mean, not the, not just that big shot, but I mean, before at the beginning of the game, uh, we went our run. You know, I mean, the, the fan support was, was was ridiculous. You know, I mean, Hoosier I mean, Nation is the best best uh, fans there are, and you know, we really love them. Have you guys been in a building like that before tonight, before how the fans were out there? I mean, we've been on the road, you know, and it's gotten pretty loud, but I mean, nothing, nothing as loud as this. Terrence Jones is one of their main guys, and he didn't play well at all. Did, was there a plan to take him out of the game? What happened? There? I mean, you got big players like Will and, and, and Tom and Christian who just stepped up, you know, took it personally and, uh, you know, locked him down. I mean, he, he's, he's a phenomenal player, but we have phenomenal players too. Now, Last question. Talk, they talk a lot about how a big shot can change momentum in a game. What can this shot and win do for the season moving forward? I think it means a lot. You know, um, it not only gives Christian more confidence, but <coughs> us confidence as a team. If we could be the number one team in the country, then we, you know, we can we, we can play with anybody, and we truly believe that. And uh, you know, the thing is to stay on our grind. And what like V was saying before, the senior class just bring their leadership, and and uh, you know, if we just keep working hard, you know, Scott's going for us. Thanks.